Greetings, you people, and hello, my king. How is it going, and how has it been? This is Mariah Stone, and I do indeed welcome you to some darkest dungeon. I have been waiting, what seems like eons, to play this game. I have awaited it, and it is now finally here, and we're going to play. Now, what is Darkest Dungeon? Darkest Dungeon is a roguelike. Indeed it is. Heroes that you have, when they die, it's permadeath. They're gone. Forever. And there's a lot of risk. And there's a lot of reward. Combat happens to be turn-based. And that's all you really need to know. Let's just get into it. See what awaits. I will say right now that this is my blind intro to this. I have not played it previously. I have not even clicked the campaign button, which I'm about to do right now. Let's see what happens. Uh, click the letter to begin. Alright, and darkest? Oh, wait. Error. Just name it Briarstone. Seems normal, right? And, uh, what happens? Click the letter to begin. I have done that. Do I hit enter? Ah, you do hit enter. Okay. Figure that out then. Select that slot. That wagon wheel is dead. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. <laughs> I love this! This game speaks to so many levels, I, I, I don't know, parts of me I can't explain, I have no description, no explanation why. But I, I love this. I love this so much. And I haven't even played it yet. I just know that I love this. <sighs> Alright, so. Space. The old road. Find your way to the hamlet. Am I going to die before I get to the hamlet? Probably. Nap navigation. You are currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. So if I click the... Oh wait, no, there. I'm not sure which one to click. Let's click there. Ah, yes. So move to this room. I think so. What do we have on right now? Rusty Halberk and a long sword. Not much for that. Worn overcoat and a flintlock. Rusty blade. So we start off with a highwayman and a crusader. That's an odd couple. Certainly an odd couple. I feel like I should probably fix something real fast. Let's fix that. Because I'm OCD. <laughs> That's done. Okay, let's move on to the next room. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Right then. Okay, hallway movement. While in the hallway, press D to move forward, A to move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. I, I, hmm. I might just use the D and the A, actually, because I, I... Probably. I feels like I would prefer that. Um, so, yeah. Exit that. So I can I can move these guys forward and back like so. No problem. We should keep moving. So that's the way back. Or is it? Yes, it is. That was the way back. Select a destination. So we go there. Alright, then. Figuring this out. Oh, hi. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Right then. Combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on the highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because the hero needs to be standing in a different spot 
or there is no valid target. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. Okay, so, the Highwayman appears to be faster than the Crusader, so he gets to move first. Open vein. Melee. It's got a damage modifier. Does that mean minus 15% damage that I deal to him? Or does that mean minus 15 damage that I have incoming from him? Because that makes a difference. Bleed, two points. I'm thinking it doesn't do... It's, it's 15 less damage. 15% less damage. But we're going to start it anyway because bleeding them, damage over time. I love damage over time. We're going to start with that. Seems like an idea! Feel it! Alright, he resisted the bleeding though. And I am able to... The force of devilry. He was able to switch us. What a bastard. Alright then. Smite. Absolutely handled. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Rifling through the corpses reveals 100 gold. Greases palms, builds empires, and investigates murder. Take all. What do I have? I have food. Eat to restore health and stave off hunger. Each party member generally consumes one unit per meal. Um, can I switch you around? Is that a possibility? I don't really like the fact that you're in front. There we go. So that there, that little arrow icon allows me to move my crusader who is able to take more damage in front. At least I'm guessing he takes more damage. He's better at it. What was that? What was the little three for? Are we being a frightened here? Are we being a scared? Interactive objects. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Alright then, since you told me to, I guess I will. Clearly, they're... Clearly, where the ambushers camp. Oh, so wait. There's nobody home. I think we should check inside that tent. What's inside? Alright, we have 150 nothing gold. nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Very nice. Take that, please. I am getting richer and richer by the second. And not only did you just take the money out of there, but you, you ransacked the place. Holy shit. What is wrong? Why? How are you feeling? You're not feeling too well. Apparently he's losing his nerve. Is what I'm guessing. Can I just click there, I guess? Oh, hi. Ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. What has he got? He's got a whip there. The cat's out of the bag. Alright then. Grape shot blast. Okay, now this guy is... I don't know what they do, so it's gonna be hard to figure out strategy currently. What does it say? Stun resist? Debuff resist? All that jazz. Doesn't tell me what they do. Okay, so, grape shot blast. Ranged. I will be able to hit him. With, I feel like I should get rid of that little bastard. He's like the assassin. Crit modifier. Take aim. I could save a turn, take aim, and do more damage. Possibly. Plus 5% crit. Take aim! We're gonna get him next time, I think. And then what? Oh wait, no, I get to take aim and then fire? What, really? I have no idea. I hit them both though, right? Oh, it's just the one. Alright. Hmm. I'm not sure if that was the way to do that. Rain of whips! Oh, okay. Well, you're not so bad. It's just a whip. Whip away then. Zealous accusation. Ranged. Stunning below. I can have him miss his turn. Bulwark of faith. Plus protection. Or do I just go for a nice little smite? You know what I do? I'm gonna... Hmm... Zealous Accusation! Let's do it! Nice! Now then... I'm gonna cut him. What is it? Hero to crit? Or hero to hit? Bleed resist. Only 25. I have a 1 in 4 chance to bleed him. Let's make it happen! Bleed, baby! Bleed for me! Yes! Blanket fire! This is stupid hard. Alright, um... I'm so nervous right now. Alright, so stunning blow. Can we get him to not move this turn? 
Does it work? Is he stunned? He resisted it. Okay, so he gets to go anyway. Dodge. Very nice. He has a gun. He should have stuck to his whip. Ow. That hurt. He's still bleeding, though. I'll be okay with that. I was able to dodge that maneuver. Pistol shot. Right in the face. And then what? Smite him? May as well. He's almost dead, but they're gonna get another couple turns on me. Or not. Is there any way I can just outright kill him? Crit. Modifier is pretty good. Can the I kill him? The beast, the greater the glory. All right. So now that he's out of the way, I can deal with this little bastard. Huh? Son of a bitch. He's gonna take a fire rust shot. Um. Let's open a vein. Bleed. Bleeding. Excellent. Now then, can we finish it? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Right, rifling through the corpses reveals what? Bust, a sculpted bust of a once prominent local figure. Crest, a sigil of honor earned by family actions long since past. Bandage, used to staunch the flow of bleeding. I, I almost might need to just camp out here. What does that do? Quest complete. Click to exit the dungeon. Oh, so we found our way to town then. Well, just in the nick of time, I would say. Collected heirlooms. Quest rewards. The old road. I get 5,000 gold for that? Well, that's gonna start me off well in hand, I would think. Plus two resolve. Plus two resolve again. That's good. Now, here's the other thing. The more they do, to my knowledge, this sort of thing happens. They get XP. They get resolve. And that's great. When they die, they're gone forever and then you're, 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 you're shit out of luck. Now, they're gone, right? Take care of your people, apparently, is the way to do things. Return to town. Let's take a look at town really fast. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Okay. <laughs> Very good, then. Uh, the ruins have been unlocked. That's good. I can't get the horrible whatever the hells. I was gonna read that, but it's gone now. Get help where you may. On any screen in the game, press and hold H to see contextual help for controls in that mode. Try it while in town. Exploring, fighting, camping, and more. Press H for some hints, basically. H for hint. Graveyard. View fallen heroes. I don't have any yet. That's helpful. I just cannot bear the thought of going back down there. Oh, Ronald. Renal. Sorry, man. Stagecoach. Recruit new heroes. Is it possible to do that? Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. The stagecoach is your hero life blood. You'll need to recruit those two heroes, or these two heroes, to fill out your party of four. That's what I was thinking. Drag and drop them into your roster. While you're here, spend some of your starting resources on upgrading the stagecoach network. This will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. To upgrade, click the plus symbol on the left and then click the upgrade. Very nice then. I think I will. So I have these two. Drag and drop them in. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Now, to my knowledge... A sister of battle. Pious and unrelenting. To my knowledge, these guys have certain attitudes. They play nice with some attitudes that mesh with them and not so nice with others. I am concerned about this starting party because I remember hearing something about having a highwayman and a plague doctor in the same group. They don't work as well. But, I, beggars can't be choosers. I need a group of four, so let's start with that at least. Stagecoach. Now, we're gonna upgrade the network. Upgrading the stagecoach increases the available heroes for hire each week, or increases your roster size. Well then, stagecoach network increases number of available heroes to three. 
Increases the size of the roster to 11. Let's go with that instead. Word is traveling. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. Let's not run out of people. This. I do not want to run out of people. Stagecoach Network increases number of available heroes to four. Great like heroes that can be found even here, in the mud and rain. Increase the size of roster. I am going to... well, may as well. Go ahead and... oh, I don't have enough now. That's okay. We're gonna be fine. At least we'll have more heroes to choose from the next time we visit. Let's click out of that. And that is going to be a quick little overlook. We have made our way from the carriage that broke down to town. Now we have to get from town and into more danger. Risk and reward. Hopefully we do not have anybody die within the next several episodes, but we're going to see how this continues to go. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, I am in no shape to go back out there. Man, I need to get this guy some, some booze or something. I don't know. I have to get him something. But if there's anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I will see you again later. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Mariah Stone, signing out.